Hello and welcome to episode 102 of the Stress Knits podcast. My name is Stacy, also known as Stress Knits Yarn over on Instagram and Stress Knits on Ravelry. I am the dyer behind Stress Knits Yarn and I'm coming to you from a suddenly sunny metro Detroit, Michigan, where I live with my husband Doug and our daughter Eliza and our pug puppy Esther, who is asleep on the couch. So we'll see how this goes. The sun just peeked out through the clouds, so there might be some weird lighting. Also, I am in cozy clothes today because it's just one of those days. I'm not gonna lie. It's just, it's one of those days where all I want to do is wear a oversized t-shirt and leggings and drink coffee. That's about it. So I was planning on recording yesterday, but I had horrible cramps. And that's a lot of information, but it's the truth. It was just awful. So I decided to relax instead and just kind of let my body do what it needed to do. And I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm really glad. I almost went to the gym, but I was not feeling good because they just don't make me feel good. <laughs> um, so I'm glad I didn't push myself. I feel a lot better back to a normal schedule today, back to cooking and going to the gym and podcasting <laughs> and doing a few more videos and what else am I doing today? I'm also prepping a bunch of yarn to dye over the next few days for an update hopefully next week while we're on vacation. So yes. Um, what else is there? This is very impromptu. <laughs> Eliza just went down for her nap. The sun is driving me crazy. It's like right in my eye. <laughs> um, I'm saying um a lot. Sorry. So, I went to New York. <laughs> so, if you're not following me on Instagram, I mean, you might not know this because it was very impromptu. It was not announced in any way. So Vogue Nang Live was this past weekend and it's my favorite excuse to go visit friends and go to my favorite city. So I was talking to my husband and we were just chatting and I was like, oh, so many people I love are going to be in New York. I wish I could just jump on a plane and go see everybody. And he was like, you should do it. <laughs> what? He's like, yeah, I don't really have much to do this weekend work-wise, you should do it. <laughs> okay, so looked up flights and hotels and then my friend Jacqueline offered me to stay with her, Brooklyn Knit Folk. So I was like, cool, I don't have to worry about a hotel. Absolutely, I'm going. And um, yeah, it was great. And Doug also said it was part of my Christmas birthday present. So that was also really nice. Um, I would much rather <laughs> go to New York than get anything. So I booked my flight and I was on a plane in like 13 hours. <laughs> it was insane. And if you know me, I am not a spontaneous person. I am a planner. I need to know what's happening. I have severe anxiety and all of that. But this was very just impromptu and no planning. <laughs> I had no idea. I don't know. But it was really great. It was a lot of fun. The flights were really great. Um, the second flight had a bit of um, turbulence and it was a little rough. But I also got a window seat, which was nice. Window seats are my favorite. Um, the person who was supposed to sit at the window seat didn't show up and I was in the middle seat so I got to scoot over which was great and then on the way there we got there in under an hour which is very fast it should take about an hour and a half it usually takes just over an hour but we got there in like 50 something minutes crazy so flights were great my transportation was great it snowed 
I got to see friends. I bought some yarn, which I was not expecting, including a giveaway, because we're almost at 6,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Um, I got to meet Hohi, and I found out that she watches the podcast, so hi Hohi, it was so lovely to meet you, it made my entire trip, so thank you, thank you, thank you for telling me you watch me, that means it's crazy, so just thank you. Um, yes, yeah, so that's really, <laughs> that was my weekend. And now I'm just back into the routine, trying to meal prep and get out of the house. <laughs> and it's going really well. The sun is very bright. Okay, so let's talk about what I'm working on. I have no finished objects. I might next week because, well, I don't know if I'm podcasting next week. I might podcast before we go. So you might get two episodes back to back. I don't know when we're leaving. We're either leaving Sunday or Monday. I don't know. Or maybe I'll podcast from Traverse City. Anyway, we're going to Traverse City. Um, Doug's partner in this new business venture, he basically joined our friend Jesse and um, they're doing video and social media and photography and all of that good stuff right now. And Jesse owns a bunch of Airbnbs, including one in Traverse City. So we are going to Traverse City and I will be going to Wool and Honey this next week. So I'm super excited. Ugh, I'm so excited. Yes. So maybe I will podcast from there because it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. So I will... Yeah, I think I'll do that if Eliza takes a nap. She doesn't like napping in new places. Anyway, um, but I probably will have at least one finished object there. So what I took on this trip and what I'm working on currently. Cold brew. So I took my second sock. So this is my first sock of my last Christmas colorway. That's pretty true to color. Um, this was day 25 of the Stress Knits 2019 advent calendar called Last Christmas. And this will be basically my first reoccurring Christmas colorway because I love it that much. So keep your eyes peeled for this probably starting in at the end of October, beginning of November. But yeah, so I finished the sock um, in December and I started the second one while I was waiting for my flight. So, and I knit this on the first flight. So for the fact that I maybe knit on this for an hour and I'm already past the ribbing and I'm just working on the sun is really not in a great spot. Um, but I'm working on the leg of the sock now. So that's a lot of fun. Here is the cake, which is just insane. So speckly and so fun. Yeah, so that's what one of the things I brought. The second thing that I worked on is my Woodwardia, which is hopefully what I will have done either next week or the week after because I'm almost done with the body of the sweater and I just have sleeves and a collar. Oh yes, especially since I'm going to have four hours of car knitting there and back, I think I'll be able to finish this. I want to show it to you right set up. So here's my Woodwardia. Last time you saw this, I had not separated for the sleeves yet. So here it is. Um, I'm knitting this much longer than the pattern calls for. The pattern calls for an eight and three quarters um, measurement from the armhole and that includes the ribbing. Now I understand Crop sweaters are very in, they're very flattering. I just don't feel comfortable wearing them. I have a few and I like the way they look on me, but I don't feel comfortable in them. 
I feel very self-conscious. I find myself pulling on my sweater. And when I wear something, I'd rather just forget that it's there and just be comfortable like this oversized t-shirt. It's just cozy. So that's where I was going with this. So I'm also knitting a larger size than I would normally knit because I want this to be oversized. I want this to have 10 inches of positive ease. So I'm knitting the size 54 and it should block out to about that. My stitch gauge, the one that measures across, I always get them mixed up, but my <laughs> um, across gauge is about a stitch and a half off. So I went up a size. So I'm knitting the 54 instead of like the 50 is what I would normally knit because that gives me about six inches of positive ease which I really like but again I wanted more so this will be about 10 inches well probably closer to eight but my DK this is knit out of stress knits DK in the my jam colorway and my DK base stretches it blocks out beautifully so I'm hoping that it'll block out a bit bigger but I did try this on and if it doesn't block out bigger and it just stays as is it's gonna be good but I would like it to be a little bigger which I think like, there's a lot <laughs> of give in here so yes so that is my hope for the sweater this raglan detail is the whole reason I'm knitting the sweater it's beautiful so this is by, this is Woodwardia by Lydia Gluck. You can find it in Pom Pom Quarterly, Spring 2019. Do I have it nearby? I do. It's this issue. It's the cover sweater. So, highly recommend this knit. It's super quick, super intuitive. I love it. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to have this off my needles. I've never... So I don't wear a lot of my hand knits because they don't fit quite how I would like them to. Um, but I think this, I think this is going to be the one. I think this is it. I'm really excited. Ugh, yeah, so modifications, I'm knitting it longer and I'm not doing the turtleneck. And that's it. But yep, Woodwardia. I'm alternating skeins and it's going really well. I love how it's coming out. I love tonal yarn, I think it's beautiful, and this colorway is just so special. So, very excited about that. This is all I wanna work on right now, so like Doug's sweater's been put on hold, but I'm also bringing that to Traverse City because it's just easy stockinette knitting. Okay, and I cast on one more thing. So, Kim, who is Huga Cannon on Instagram, I will put her information below because she is designing, or she has designed a sock out of stress knits yarn and I'm obsessed. So she sent the pattern to me so I could test knit it if I had time, which is very sweet and she didn't have to do, but I want to test knit. So I'm hoping to get this done by the end of the month. I think I will because it's flying. It's so good. So these are the Between the Canyons socks. She originally designed this in my grubby colorway, which is a very dirty pink with black, dark gray speckles. And this is No Trail to Follow, which is a mint green with dark gray speckles. So yes, it's a there are three cables, so you have um, these two end cables and this one little cable in the middle, and then they're surrounded by seed stitch, which is just, I love seed stitch so much. And then the back is twisted rib with flanked by panels of stockinette, and the cuff is twisted rib as well. I believe, I didn't read ahead, but from the pictures I've seen, I believe it's a heel flap and gusset, which is my personal favorite heel anyway. So very excited about that. Um, this is my favorite base. because I call it that because it's my favorite base. And also I think it works for any project you're going to make from socks to sweaters to shawls to hats. I've knit everything in favorite. 
it's 80-20, 80% 80 superwash merino, 20% nylon, and it's just this plump, beautiful, beautiful sock yarn. Um, I'm using Knit uh, Knitter's Pride Zings on a US 1, 2.25 millimeters. They're the gold ones. Yes. So, yeah. Um, not my favorite needles, but I think they might, might be my second favorite needles. I think I like the smaller Zings better than the larger Zings. And the join is the only problem and it only bothers me sometimes. But yes, so between the Canyon socks will be coming out shortly. I will let you know when they do. It's such a beautiful pattern and it's flying because it's a very small chart repeat, pattern repeat. And I believe she has both charted and written out instructions depending on what, what you prefer. I'm using the chart and it's perfect. Um, yeah, and it's, I don't have it perfectly memorized, but I can read where I'm going next, if that makes sense. So like, there are certain parts of the pattern that I know what it is. I don't know if that makes sense. Yes, I really, really love these and I love, I love this color and I've wanted to use it for so long. This is a part of my mixtape collection based on the Lord Huron song, The Night We Met. No trail to follow. And I misheard the lyrics, so that's not even a lyric. But that's what it's inspired by. So yeah, that's everything that I'm working on. All I can think of is knitting more sweaters. <laughs> that's all I want to do. And I'm getting my sock mojo back. I bought two skeins of Nomadic Yarns today. I'm very excited. So those will be here in a few weeks. Actually, they'll probably get here around my birthday, so mid-February, which will be really nice. I'm very excited. They're both very similar colorways. I got... One of them is the child or child which is based on Baby Yoda from Mandalorian. So I got that one. And then I got one, I don't remember, but it's like brown, mint green, pink, a deeper green, I believe. I don't know, it's beautiful and I'm really excited. I haven't had Ashley's yarn in so long. But speaking of yarn, I bought two skeins at Vogue Knitting Live. So this was not a trip where I wanted to go and spend a bunch of money on yarn. I travel very light, especially when it's just a quick weekend trip. So I just had my purse and a backpack. And I was like, I don't really want to stuff a sweater's quantity. I did think about a sweater's quantity um, of magpie fibers on the nest base. <sighs> I really liked it, but I know that I like the yarn it's a little toothier than I expected, and it almost feels cottony, but there's no cotton in it. It's 100% Coriadale, um, which is a beautiful wool, but it just felt different than I expected. I still love it, and I will still probably buy a sweater's quantity of it eventually, um, but I know the color I want and all of that jazz, so I came away knowing that. Um, there were other booths that I wanted to go into, but they were very crowded. Um, so Lola Bean Yarn was very crowded when I went by and I should have squeezed in and got some, because there's a colorway, I don't even remember what it's called. I don't know, but there's one I've had my eye on for a while and I really should have just like snuck on in there and gotten it, but it's it was very crowded. And then the Cat Sandwich Fibers booth was also very crowded. And those were the other two that I wanted to see besides this one. So every time I asked someone what yarn they were using or what yarn that project was, it was Barnyard Knits. I've never had Barnyard Knits. 
and I went to the booth and that's where I met Hohi, which is amazing. Again, I'm still on cloud nine over it. And um, two skeins called out to me. One I knew I needed because I saw a sweater knit up with it. Um, Mina of Knitting Expat Designs. She's making a sweater out of it and when I went to a knit night with her on Friday night, she showed me it and I was like, this is exactly what I want. <laughs> so I grabbed a skein of that and then I grabbed another skein that I really liked, but I think it's going to be a giveaway for you when I hit 6,000. So here is the one that I'm going to be giving away. This is Barnyard Knits in Old Coin. This is on her sock fingering, which is a 75 superwash merino, 25% nylon, 463 yards. Both of these are on that base. But it's just so pretty and very patina-y and I just really like it. But I, I got this I got both of these to make Ripple Bralettes by Jessie May, and I don't know if I would actually wear this one, and I still, oh, I just love it so much. I love a minty green with um, copper oranges. It's just so beautiful, but I think this will be a good giveaway because her yarn is gorgeous. So, old coin and granite. So this is the one that I knew I needed the second I saw Mina use it. And it's just beautiful. So there's purples and blues and pinks and mauves and some teal and some brown, some gray, and these speckles are just beautiful. So this will be a bralette. So this is something I wanna cast on soon. There are so many Jessie Mae designs that I really wanna cast on, but this year, I know I'm going to do a ripple bralette, a ripple crop top, but with the crop top, I'm going to um, make it longer and make the V smaller. And then her classic raglan, I will also be making. So I'm very excited about that. So yeah, that's really all there is. Stress Knits News. There really isn't any. There will be a shop update next week, hopefully. No, there will be. I just don't know what day. Um, Doug is going out of town for work. And I just don't know when we're going to take pictures. I think I'm bringing all of the yarn up north with me. Because again, Jessie's Airbnb is beautiful. It's gorgeous. And so I'm going to take advantage of having such a beautiful place to take pictures and take a lot of pictures. So yeah, so I'm assuming the update will be sometime during the week next week and then I will ship everything out when we get home. We're coming home Saturday night, Sunday morning. So everything will start shipping out Monday. Yeah, but that's about it. There's still plenty of yarn in the shop. I mean, they're pretty bare, but there's still stuff to buy if you're interested. And I'm always open for custom orders of three or more skeins on the same base. So you can always feel free to email me through the contact um, page on our website. Yeah, that's about it. So I hope you are having a wonderful week and I cannot wait to talk to you next time, probably from a different location. So I will see you then. Bye.